As some of you may know, I play a little bit of sound Voltex. Yes, a little bit, right. Not content with just the arcade version, I've been playing a fair bit of the PC version as well. I even streamed it recently, and do so most Mondays. Games are more fun with more people to share them with, though, so I'm going to teach you how to get the PC client working too. Keep in mind that this is a subscription service, though, so if you are looking for a free game to play here, this isn't the video for you. There are two very well-regarded Sound Voltex alternatives, though, so feel free to check out Unnamed Sound Voltex Clone, aka USC, and K-Shoot Mania if you want to get involved that way. For the rest of you who are here for the official experience, stick around. Before we begin though, let me make an important note. This tutorial will only cover setup of the game itself. I won't go over things like controllers or how to actually play the game here. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me do some videos on those as well. In the meantime, let's get things moving, shall we? Onward! First and foremost, you won't get anywhere without an EMU's account and a card, be it virtual or a physical one from somewhere like an arcade or emus.cards or something. I'll make mention of this multiple times, but it's critically important. The EMU's account you use must be set to Japan as your region during account setup. You cannot proceed without this to make absolutely sure or else you'll have to set up a new one and forever have the two accounts be separate. Ask me how I know. Anyway, assuming you need to start from the very beginning, let's get you an EMU's account. I have a link to the main page down below, so go there and follow along. On the right side, you'll see a red and blue button. Click the blue one to start a new account setup. You may be taken to a screen that looks like this, and if you are, click down here, and click that to continue. If your site displays in English here, it'll be easier to find, but in other languages, it will still be in the same place. Fill out the form here with your information, but be careful. I told you this would come up again. No matter where you yourself are, set your country to Japan. Set your country to Japan. I cannot stress enough how vital this is because you only get the time during account setup to do this correctly and you must be listed as being in Japan in order to use the Konaste PC games such as Sound Voltex. This will come up again and you'll see exactly why, but first you'll also need an EMU's card. During account setup, you'll see a screen that looks like this. In order, the buttons you see are for those who have an EMU's card and who already have it linked to their account, those who have a card but do not have it linked to their account yet, and lastly, those who do not have a card and who need to make a virtual one. The first button means you require no further setup until a bit later, so feel free to relax a bit. For the second one, you'll see a page that looks like this. Just put your card's ID in here and your PIN and you can link it to your account if it wasn't already linked to another one. You can only link an EMU's card to one account, and you can't unlink it, so be sure you're committed when you do this. I imagine a fair number of people will be going for that last one, though. You'll land here. Just make a pin, make sure you remember it, you may need it somewhere, and off you go. If you see screens with walls of Japanese text, it's TOS things, so just scroll to the bottom and accept them. Now that you've got an EMU's account, you're ready to download the game. I've provided the link to the download page for this down in the description as well, so once again, follow along, okay? On the download screen I link to, you'll be able to click the blue button here and be taken to the download area. This will download the installer. Once you've gotten it installed, open it up from wherever you saved the game to. It will add a desktop shortcut by default, so it might be there. You'll see a login screen when you open the game, so just go through that and then hit the blue button on the next screen. That should open up the game launcher. Hit the big button in the middle and the game itself will open up. As you do not yet have a subscription to the Sound Voltex Basic course, you'll open in trial mode, but a song list looks like this. You can pick one of these songs and play it on whatever difficulty you like. After you play one song, the game will end and close automatically. This is meant as a trial mode to make sure your computer can play the game properly, so make sure you use this first before going any further. 
Assuming your checks went well, it's time to get subbed, and this is why you absolutely had to have a Japanese account. That's because you need to set up a payment method, of course. And to do so, you log into your My Konami page. I gave a separate link for that below. And once you do, you'll see a button with an icon shaped like a credit card labeled Payment Management. This button will not appear if your account is not set to Japanese. If you see it there, you're home free pretty much. If not, go back to the beginning and start from zero with a new email. See you soon. For those able to proceed, click the bottom blue button that mentions Paselli. That will take you to one more screen saying that this registration can't be used on Konami style, their online merchant goods store, but we don't care about that. Just hit the blue button and put in your card details. Once you do, you should be good to go. You may get a temporary charge of 1 yen, but it won't stick, so don't worry about that. That's only there to confirm that the card works. With the credit card linked, you're finally ready to subscribe to the base, of course. I've got that link too, so hop on over. Look for the one labeled with Sound Voltex, and then you'll be sent to another screen. Click the big black button there, and you'll be able to select the payment method. This is where you use the credit card you registered earlier. Confirm on the following page, and you're good to go. Be careful though, this is a recurring monthly subscription. As of this video, it was 1,628 yen. So be sure the card can handle the charges. The next time you launch the Voltex client, you'll see you're not locked to one song play, and that you now have over 800 songs to pick from. Congratulations, you're good to go! However, if you know some other songs and don't see them there, they may be locked behind... Song Packs. There are several song packs available to expand your library, so your missing favorites might be there. A direct link to buy song packs is shown below. If you'd like to see what songs are included in a given pack, click the pack that interests you, followed by the gold button on the following screen. To check the songs, hit the link labeled Kochira, and it will open the song list. Look the titles up on YouTube if you don't know all of them yet, and see if you like them. The packs can be pretty pricey, so be sure that you'll be happy with them before splashing for them, okay? Also, keep an eye out for sales. There are a couple of times per year where most of the song packs wind up half price, so it could be a good chance to capitalize on. That's not the only thing you can buy here, though. You can get navigators for the game as well, which are those live 2D characters you'll see on the results screens and the like. To do that, though, we have to enter the dark realm of... Gotcha. As always, there's a link below. You can check the contents the same way, but caution is advised here, especially if you're not in the arcade. When you do a draw, or a 10 draw if you chose that, you get one of the items within the gacha selected at random. A number of items can't be used outside of the arcade, however, so if you pull those as a PC-only player, well... Tough luck. Most, but not all, packs have navigators as possible results, the ones in this slot. If you do decide to go for it, good luck. As a bonus, everything you buy on here is usable for both Konaste and the Arcade, so it's sort of a two-for-one if you play both with the same account. With that, you should be more than ready to start your trip into the nightmarish spiral that is PC Sound Voltex. If you enjoyed the video, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, yada yada. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me below and I'll try to help you out. If you want to watch me play some Voltex or other games, Check out my Twitch channel, or stick around here a while since I am trying out multi-streaming as well. Until next time, thanks for watching!